Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details with the second video out of 105 that isn't detailing related. Today I'm going to be furnishing my new apartment using only eBay. So I've spent a bit of time researching what to buy through various eBay listings and I've found everything that I want. I'm obviously not a millionaire, otherwise I wouldn't be shopping on eBay, and I obviously want to buy things that I want to keep, look after and enjoy. So here's everything currently in my watched items plus a few goodies for the Focus RS almost ready for buying. I'm literally furnishing this apartment from the ground up and I'll be buying as much as I can from eBay. In fact, there were only a few things left to purchase from Tesco, Asda and Argos, so 90% of the stuff was purchased right here and now. I'm going to get everything purchased off camera quite simply because there'll be too much editing to do in terms of scrubbing out addresses and personal details, so when we skip to the next bit of footage, everything will have arrived. I had everything delivered to my old address and the unit's address as I haven't spent much time at the unfurnished flat yet, so here's the van with load number one. In hindsight I should have shown you some before footage of the completely empty and bare flat, however I completely forgot, but you'll be able to see the flat transform into a cosy and plush pad as we kit it out with the stuff. bit of unboxing ASMR for you with the smaller items which I'm not going to name individually, but if you want to revert back to the start of the video to see the eBay listings, then feel free to do so. I'm going to try and keep this video as entertaining as possible, although the rest of it will more than likely be me fixing up flat pack furniture, and after all of this lot, I am a flat pack expert.
First up was the flat pack sofa. Yes, that's right, a flat pack sofa. I didn't expect it to arrive in flat pack form, but it did. It actually caused me a few problems with putting it together, but with some patience, I managed. The whole theme of the flat, by the way, is going to be grey slash silver, sonoma oak and white. If I was to have furnished a flat five years ago, then I'd have gone with black and silver, but I think now that I've turned 30 the other week, my mature side is of a lighter variety. After a couple of days those pillows did fluff themselves up nicely, which you'll see in the finished apartment footage. Next up is the entertainment unit or Sonoma Oak TV stand suitable for TVs of up to 55 inches in size. Something that I grew to realise whilst putting all of this lot together was that if I was to do it all over again it would be so much easier. It seems as if they are so complex to begin with to put together but as you start figuring it all out you start to ask yourself how you didn't know beforehand. I mean if I was to do this all over again then I'd do it in a fraction of the time, i.e. putting all of the furniture together. But just like with my detailing, I like to take my time as I plan to keep this stuff for several years to come, so I want it all to be nice and sturdy and well put together. Most of this furniture did seem to have the same type of locking mechanisms, screw types and bolt types which did make things easier, but if you got ahead of yourself and started putting things where you think they go, which I did, then there's a good chance that it'll need redoing. Some umming and ahhing later, head scratching, panting and sweating, the TV stand was put together nicely. The piece de resistance was the newly purchased 50 inch Philips Smart TV 4K 1080p LED fancy thing, which was actually a bargain price for under 400 quid. But nevertheless, I needed to get this up and running alongside the Xbox One for some evening Forza 7 action. At this point the whole corner of the room was starting to become filled with empty boxes which I was actually saving so I could do a decent thumbnail. Not forgetting my new fish tank which looks a bit different now and I'll actually be making a short video series all about the fish tank. Next we are in the bedroom and putting together the Sonoma oak and white wardrobe, chest of drawers and bedside table. Funnily enough, the smallest out of the lot, so the bedside table took me the longest to put together which was two and a half hours, the medium chest of drawers took an hour and a half, and the wardrobe, so the biggest item, took the least amount of time which was one hour putting it together. It isn't the biggest flat in the world so I didn't opt for the biggest items of furniture, but as they were coming together, it gave me the motivation to get the rest finished whilst entering the early hours of the morning.
The next bit of furniture to put together was the bed which was a nice and simple process. Reading the instructions first paid dividends later down the line so I made sure to read through all instructions carefully. This isn't exactly a DIY channel so I don't really have much to say about the bed but the mattress isn't the best around but it's good enough for me. The next bit of incredibly important furniture, which is where I'll be spending the majority of my time whilst at home, as fun as it sounds, is at the computer desk. Again, I've gone for a solid Sonoma Oak one, and as I record this audio now while sat at it, I can assure you that it is an amazing desk. Lots of instruction reading later, and the desk was starting to come together. One piece at a time, slowly but surely, and it was certainly getting there. With inspiration from Mars Bar, I set about hooking up my newish desktop computer with decent cable management so I could crack back on with business tasks. For those that are interested in my desktop setup, then I have a HP 590 tower, 24 inch HP LED screen, a HP keyboard and mouse, and the Sound Blaster X speakers and subwoofer. Also some JBL audio headphones plus the Rode NT USB mic. With everything in the flat put together, it now needs one heck of a good vacuum and dust around, I call it a maintenance valet, before I show you the finished flat footage. Be sure to check out part 2 in the short flat series for the finished apartment tour which will be out in due course. As always, thank you for watching and if you are watching one of my videos for the first time then be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on so you don't miss lots of future content. Give that like button a tickle and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.